Hello, this is a tutorial on how to make uh, bottles like this, uh, flat, like this, so that you can cut rope from them as I showed in tutorial number one. Um, the normal procedure is that you hold it above a, um, a gas stove. I have uh, only this because I have um, an electrical stove, so I use my cooking stove. And I made an uh, improvement, I think, <clears throat> and that is um, when you heat it, as I will show you later, uh, the plastic uh, shrinks and the uh, air inside um, uh, expands and then the two will balance each other so if there would be a hole for instance the whole thing would shrink so what I did is I took a, a bicycle uh, from a rubber bicycle tire and I drilled a little hole in the, in the, in the lid and then mounted it and then uh, I pumped the bottle up before I put it above the gas, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this one is say 20-15% bigger as this one. I tested it with water, which I will not do now because <coughs> I do not think I should prove it. But I will show it to you um, with this broken or how do you say, squashed bottle. And then you can one see first you have if if I would do it like this it would not work so you have to um, make him into shape again and therefore that this bicycle uh, let's see I think it works like this no well let's see there you go. Now we have a, a sort of normal, I will close the lid, a normal bottle but as you can see, so this is the normal bottle and this is the, the shrinked bottle so it shrinks considerably and I want to reduce that and here it shrinks less and because we want to cut it into rope uh, we want as many, as much material as possible. So now I will start this uh, little cooker. Okay, so you can do it like this or with a normal gas stove, but I don't have that either. So what you just do is sort of <coughs> spin it and then carefully heat it and then <coughs> you see it's already more flat. gets hot, you see it's almost done. 
I'm going to just hot the air expands and and sort of pushes it out and then the plastic shrinks and that presses in. You see, now it's completely flat and I think it's even bigger than the other one. Let's see which one was that. Uh, that was this one. You can see it's bigger. Is it or was it? Yeah. So, so now it's completely flat and now you can cut it. I will make it a little bit flatter. Just to be on the safe side. But as you see, it's really easy and really fast. So, so that's how you flatten uh, a plastic bottle before you uh, can cut it. Uh, a ribbled plastic bottle, bottle to make it flat. Uh, if you don't want to do it like this, um, then uh, you can uh, just put a normal lid on it and, um, <clears throat> and heat it, that works fine. But it's, you see it's under really strong pressure now <clears throat> and um, that is good because then it doesn't shrink so much and that is how I like it and how I want it. <clears throat> so this is, you see it's well, it almost flies, <coughs> so that is uh, tutorial number three uh, and I hope um, you can use it. Okay, goodbye.